Welcome to DepoView for iPad. This free app is an effective and easy to use tool for managing your depositions and creating clips for your trial presentations. Be better prepared with focused deposition clips that can be made on the go. In this tutorial, we show you how to work with your DepoView transcript. Open the application and navigate to the case folder that contains the deposition you want to work with. If depositions haven't been loaded into your case, please watch the tutorial Loading a Transcript into DepoView for iPad before proceeding. If you want to return to the home page at any time to open another case, press the Home button. To choose another deposition within the case folder you are working in, press the Depositions button in the upper left corner of the screen and select the transcript you wish to view. Depositions can be very long and difficult to find exactly what you need. DepoView allows you to search for keywords in the transcript. Press the Word Index button. This button displays a list of all the words used in the deposition in alphabetical order and outlines where they are located within the transcript based on page and line number. You can scroll to find the word you are looking for and tap the page and line number button to go directly to where the word is located. When you tap the button, the video plays. You may also tap the search field and type in a specific word. As you type in the word, the index automatically filters the list to show the words that match what you have typed in. To start playing the video from a specific line, simply tap the line number or group of words on the transcript you would like to view in the video. Once you tap the line you want to view, the video immediately plays. You can control the video itself as well using the standard navigation buttons. The page buttons navigate the video page by page according to the transcript. The fast forward and rewind buttons play the video forward and backward faster. Pressing these buttons multiple times increases the speed the video is played. Use the pause slash play button to start and stop the video. You can also navigate to a certain spot or timestamp in the video by pressing and dragging the ball on the progress line to the specific time you wish to view. DepoView for iPad allows you to create clips from your deposition in order to focus and quickly demonstrate key points in the interview. Creating an individual clip takes just a few easy steps. First, tap the highlight button. Tap the line where you would like the clip to begin. The line you tapped blinks yellow. Then tap the line where you would like the clip to end. All the space between is highlighted yellow. If you are not satisfied with the lines highlighted, press Clear Highlight. The highlighted area clears and you can select the correct lines. Then tap Create Clip. The clip is created and can be found under the video. The clip is assigned a name that includes the initials of the deponent and the page and line number where the clip is located. You can create multiple clips at once by following the same highlight process without tapping Create Clip after each highlight. Continue highlighting the areas you want to turn into clips. When you are done with your highlights, press Create Clip. A few options appear. Tap Create Multiple Clips and each of your highlighted areas will be converted into a separate clip. You can use the same method to create a multi-segment clip. This feature is beneficial if you want to leave out an objection to a question or streamline a line of questioning into a single clip while leaving out unrelated material. Highlight the different areas you want added in the clip. Tap Create Clip and press Join into Single Clip. The different highlighted areas of the transcript are joined together along with the related video segments. To view a clip after creating it, select it in the Clips section and the clip along with the corresponding portion of the video appear. To delete a clip, go to the list, swipe your finger over the clip you don't want, and press the Delete button that appears. The clip is immediately removed from the list. Another option within DepoView for iPad is to edit your clips. 
Next, to the video navigation buttons, tap Edit. Two pointers appear at either end of the progress line, one with a green dot and one with a red dot, signifying the beginning and end of the clip. To edit the beginning of the clip, drag the pointer with the green dot to where you would like the clip to begin. To edit the end of the clip, drag the pointer with the red dot. You may also manipulate these points using the red and green tweak buttons. These buttons move the corresponding pointer one-tenth of a second in either direction. Using these buttons allows you to remove parts of words or other sounds that may have mistakenly slipped in at the beginning or end of a clip. You can ensure the clip starts and stops where you wish by using the Seek to Start and Seek to End buttons. The Seek to End button shows the last three seconds of the clip. When you are satisfied with the changes, tap Save. For instructions on what to do with the clips you have created, watch the tutorial on Exporting. The features we have just discussed are the basic functions for working with your Depoview for iPad transcripts. Ask your videographer or court reporter for a Depoview for iPad file to experiment with these features on your iPad. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. For more information, and to view other tutorials, visit www.indatacorp.com.